Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing Sumo Japan Truth Story. Last time, uh, we played Dream Universe, which ended up being very excellent and super good. And Horikawa did a mistake in the level Shuwarmi. That was actually the next one we're going to be playing. What we're going to be playing today. Sejiro also used to rant about it, but then he replayed it recently and said it wasn't that bad and everything should be alright. If I just refrain from dying. So I'll do my best. I got one life left then before because uh, this is take two of my intro because I accidentally entered that one level by accident and it took me a minute to say what I just said in 30 seconds. Let's go, Master of Galaxy. That's a scary name. Galaxy 2? Duh, rude. Okay. Hey, it's the. Um, what I falsely attribute to, um. Uh. King's Charles theme. It's the. You no know, rockin' theme of Mario. The love theme from Mario Brothers, as they call it. Yeah, buddy. So, okay, we're gonna master the galaxy, gonna master the boo, gonna master the boo galaxy, gonna go up a pipe, going up up and sing inside, don't know what I'm doing or what to say, welcome to Mushroom, hey hey hey, mushrooms and clouds and blocks that don't do anything, floating in the sky, a giant plant, oh my, what am I gonna do? Gonna go eat shampoo, it is not really good. But you know, you gotta think about how pretty the inside of your mouth is. Uh, this is the Ice Hill statue place, and these are the round hills of Mercuryville. Ninja hopping, weirdy little thing. Oh man, there's a fairy segment because, of course, there is. Except I don't have a time pressure, but I do have bullet bills. It's all the same in the end. Just don't hurt my feelings, please. They're very precious to me. I need them for cooking. Uh, okay, this is like... Like, my brain is like, yeah, of course there's gonna be an ambush or something here. Like, you just... You, okay, but there wasn't, so it's all good. This was Fairy Goes Around the Block Place. Now we're in the desert, because we're mastering the Mario. Ugh, two, galaxy, five, pokey, you're wobbling. Yeah, we won. <laughs> I don't know, this is a weird level. Uh, remember that level in Maggle X? Like, the right person at the right place at the wrong time at the right mac and cheese recipe? Kind of getting the vibes of that. Uh, are you... Yeah, that's really stupid, but that can happen. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Okay, this is the desert part. That's the desert part. That's the desert part. Oh, wait a second, there's some screw here, and there might be something good. Oh, well, look at that! That little thing found in the middle of a shack, eating away at all my doubts in life! I'm glad I found this little screw, because it's kind of a game-changer. Oh man, this is the spooky part. You can tell because the music is Metroid music, and you're on little, like, wooden spoke, and, like, you were supposed to think, oh, this is the end of the level, but it isn't. Because now it's the same music that starts again. Now you go back up, so, okay? Okay. Glad we're agreeing. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Oh no, I gotta go up. What am I going to do? Gotta go up with the bullets to go boom. And you gotta curve around a little bit. And this is really silly. But I suppose that's okay, it's a kind of a tight fit. <laughs> okay, and then go. Well, this is that part. Now we go in the castle. This is, uh. See, I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, lava's hitbox is interesting, so anytime I'm around that much lava, I'm always a little bit hyper-cautious. Oh, boy. Um... Yeah, I'm holding down all the buttons for block running here because... But now the blocks are not chalk wood, now they're gonna burn away. Okay, what's going on here? Ah, there's a door here. Just gotta do tiny little one-tile jumps. This is... This is tile jump, country Goomba! G 
Good job doing your tile jumps, but you gotta be better at that, otherwise you're not gonna make it. <laughs> this is the, the cremation part of the castle. It's pretty, it's pretty great. It's made out of a uh, thousand little pieces and pieces. Hey there, Boom Boom. You sure look like an interesting dude. Let me... Well, now there's Larry, but he's like on the other side of the screen there. You're, uh, like, cooperating in the worst way possible. Which I mean, you know, kind of a sp not. <laughs> oh boy, mushrooms! This level is so much a person's first level ever. It's kind of, it's kind of painful, but at the same time, it's kind of endearing. Because, like, there's a lot of stuff in it that, like, for an ex inexperienced player is totally, is forever, super totally, awesomely, super duper, the hardest things ever. But, like, if you have... Ugh. I play like an idiot, though. Completely ruining my point! Wow. 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 Wow! Alright, Boom Boom. Time to undo the point I was making a bit earlier. Nah, the reason why I was playing so bad around uh, Larry early there is because I knew that if I were to move the screen over a bit too much to the right, probably gonna summon another one of his friendly friends. Uh, basically what you want to do is just stop that from happening at all. Like, this would be a completely different story if it weren't for the little blue ledges here you can happily sit on and be safe from almost everything ever. We have just kind of like cements. Goodbye! <laughs> cements my- wow, you got a tiny room. What the hell? Yeah, it cements my theory that this was... This level is the most amateur out. Cause like, the level designer doesn't really have a concept of what's hard or not. Cause there's a ton of like, tiny one-tile jump, yes, which is scary for someone who doesn't platform a lot, but it's fundamentally not, you know, an actual thing. So you can... You can't... Sword, him. but you can do that. Oh shoot! I wish I could get my mushroom. Okay, that makes the wrinkles disappear. Everyone is happy. Like there's no one in the world that is not currently happy. See, after Mother Brain with Weirdo Wrinkle Shooter, now it's just it's weirdo. It's like there's no doesn't make any sense for some reason. Oh well, like <laughs> it's just funny. It's just funny, weirdo. Although I could use a midpoint by now. It's, a, it's kind of a long level. That I was warned of ahead of time. Mouser and empty rooms. So the, it's, that's just like the Jack Bauer of difficulty right here. <laughs> like, I have trouble to an strange degree with Mouser, but if it's just an empty room, then whatever. Oh, now it's Wart. Can you just throw rocks at him? You can. <laughs> okay, I thought he was. What's going on with you, man? Oh, you can't just but he's dead. So whatever, and there's mushrooms. Alright. Hey, Bowser. Okay, that was strange, but okay. Why are you giving me a million mushrooms here? Who knows? I just touched something here. It's pretty great. Oh, there's a moon up there that I'm not getting. It's pretty great. Okay, this is getting a little abusive, and I really could use an point. Okay, where is it safe? That shoots, then these shoots. So that shoots, that cannon over there also shoots now. That kind of makes this a little bit more difficult. A little bit more. Uh, if it weren't for Yoshi, this would be... Uh, what? No! So, you can't really... So you have to do these this way. 
this is kind of lame. But okay, like, whatever. If there are any bullets, so I'll just have Yoshi eat them. I'm just gonna reiterate, the author doesn't know what's actually hard and what isn't. This, like, this is pure amateur level design. That's what makes it interesting. Okay, so now we're in the yard, with tanks and all. Bombs is kinda, okay, that's a bomb cannon. Sounds good to me, I'm just gonna hide here. Oh, 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 yeah, see, this, the, yeah, sure, I'm not gonna get those, I think. This is not really worth it, but it's probably just gonna be mushrooms again. We got canisters, just kinda canisting up, you know, I kinda got myself a mouthful of chicken, because, no, the Leroy Jenkins is a reference you can make, I suppose. It's really, uh, in the market for references. That guy, he doesn't know how to do. Doesn't know how- oh, you can't eat those. Okay, geezers can't be eaten. They're too old. These guys either, but you can jump on them. Like, oh, you can't eat those either? Wow! There's so many Yoshi-proof enemies in this game. Yoshi, not that OP in X. But here's just like- oh, look at all these enemies that exist in the engine! Let me use them. Also, give you a million mushrooms for some reason, because you're totally gonna need them. <laughs> Except here- okay, here there's- yeah, please fall in the hole, thank you. <laughs> so, how many section has this been? Still without a hope, still without a dream, still without a ounce of miscellin. These are... cheesable due to the platforms that are here. Oh, that's... well, you know what? Oh, yeah, oh, I could've jumped back on Yushi there, probably. Yeah, that's the safest thing I could think of. Uh, oh, you don't have a platform underneath you, but your buddy does. So I'm just gonna hang around here, wait for your buddy to despawn, and I'm gonna jump. <laughs> this is surreal. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the good hand. And, wait, is that seriously the end? That's totally a Kaizo trap, isn't it? It totally is. It totally is. Like, it totally is. It totally is! Oh my god! <laughs> like, you don't just put randomly put saws there? That'd be silly. That's silly. You're silly. Stop being silly. Silly Neener Siller Dan. Like, really, why is there no no midpoint anywhere? Because it's here! Wow! This is a long level. <laughs> By the way. Okay that, okay, that one does spill just on its own time. Okay, fair enough. This goes on in the Fortress of Madness, which I call my home. It's Statue Bill and Statue Jim, Statue Friend, Statue Man, Statue Hell's Abundant Lamb. Okay, here's where I can power up, and there's, oh no, all these enemies. How am I gonna deal with all of this? I don't know, it's like literally impossible. Larry, doing a good job again. Oh, whoops. Oh, uh, well, I'm gonna go back and get myself... Okay, no, maybe not. Well, I know, it's, it's nice to die once in a while. <laughs> kind of refreshes your sinuses. <laughs> yeah, I just want to get back to get one of the mushrooms that was there, but it's... Whatever. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got weird hitboxes regarding fireball. Oh. Wasn't sure I'd make it there was quite an ordealian voyage. It's a voyage that's an ordeal. It's a pretty clever word making there. Cow cow. So I'm gonna grab myself a shell. Larry's gonna jump in a pit and I'm gonna get hit in the same way that I did the first time. Oh man, one day I'm gonna understand where it's safe and where it's pain. Where it's safe and where it's pain. Uh, weird thing to say there, Al okay? Cow. Well, all these enemies just kind of like walking to their doom. Like, the only reason this is hard is because it is incredibly long. And also, the dude has no idea what he's doing, so... Sometimes he accidentally creates art. It's like, okay, yeah, saws and crenellations. I don't know how to deal with that. More, li more mushrooms, sure, okay. It's always mushrooms. No, you never get anything else, because otherwise it'd be OP. Yep, perfect. I, okay, that was me playing the worst I have ever done. Either duck or get the guy. Like, 
don't. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna run this. Pretty great. Oh, down in space. Got scary mu Metroid music again. Homing Goombas. I don't know how I feel about those. They keep despawning themselves in the pit. <laughs> They're pretty good at their job of existing. No. Uh, being part of the circle of life is, is quite a challenge. Yeah, here's just that. Oh man, put all these homing Goombas around. It's gonna be super neat. Okay, here I'm just gonna put space plant, space plant. It's gonna be super neat. <laughs> Don't ask. Don't ask about the space plants. <laughs> no one asks about the space plants. Here you can get a door. It's pretty great. Space door. Oh no, it's Dark Evil, Evil Koopa, Evil Koopa Jr. Koopa, and he jumps, and he makes holes underground for all the kids to play in, and there's lava, it's like, whoa, you know he's really evil and not messing around, cause his scales are blue, like the blue Koopas, you know, the, the blue scales in the shells, it's pretty scary. Oh no, he died, but there's another one. <laughs> That's why he's even that more evil. It's cause there's two! Actually, looking at the way the screen is behaving here, I'm assuming at the very least another layer. At the very least. I don't know if I should be building myself staircases here. Uh, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of comfortable with my jump heights. It's gonna be tight, but it's not gonna be possible. Totally in the realm of the possible. You're so possible, evil Bowser! Oh, look at that, there's another one. Never, never would have guessed. Huh, I'm pretty sure I should have fun down bounced on you. Oh, but there's a moon in the corridor. Oh man, I can't wait to be inside the moon corridor. Moon Corridor Japan! That's the truth about Japan. Uh, there's dragons and moons. Uh, actually, you're kind of closer to me, uh, evil uh, Dread Bowser. Call him Dread Bowser because his hair is black, which means he is an evil guy with evil intent. Why do you have evil intent? Also, he has like blood red eyes. That means he is super scary. That's how it. Okay. Like uh, for a second there, I was wondering if the. The brown blicks would be all disappear from. <laughs> yeah, that did take me an afternoon, by which I mean 30 something minutes. <laughs> this is such a stupid level. It's so endearing. Like, it's cute. It's cute. There's no other way. Like, this was either designed by someone's kid or someone's dad. <laughs> the only real part I'm. Uh, about is any part that deals with lava, but that's because the engine is really stupid around lava. Like honestly, this gives me the impression because balance is so unexistent between room that this was designed to someone that actually didn't actually test it. But anyways, it happened. <laughs> this is how I can't play. Tomorrow, Joe Japan. Join me next time when we go to Horika, Horik, 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 Origami, we're going to do origamis instead of doing video game videos. Like, that's much better for your culture muscles.